Oh, hey all. Welcome to another night of MCEL. Tonight we have Chandler Gilbert Community College playing off against Phoenix College. Um, already well into the draft right now. We see um, a few of the picks coming from the top to mid lane on the side of CGC. We have Darius pick, uh, Katana brought this out before in a few other matchups with the Teemo counter pick actually against the Darius. So I'm very interested to see where that leads. Mm -hmm. um, with with what we have so far, Cho'Gath being banned on the side of PC, uh, what do you think about the lineup so far? The lineup? Well, if we look at the lineups at the moment, um, yeah, I don't, I, <laughs> this is, this is kind of so, interesting. It looks like they're going to focus on dive from the CGC at the moment. Mm -hmm. Looking at about the Kane and the LeBlanc with a good amount of dive potential. Darius with their uh, CC with the pull. Vayne, who can just easily mobilize like pretty much after level six. And Alistar, of course, can go all in. Um, it's just that in a matter that they have to catch the enemy team because these guys do they look pretty slippery for the uh, Phoenix College side. Yeah, with the Wukong and the Akali, it's gonna be really hard to get on top of them as well as the Ezreal. Very, very safe picks. Um, you're a support player, so I kind of want to see what are your thoughts on the support matchup down here. We have the feeder on the Alistair. He brought that out last yeah. week, I believe, against Mesa uh, with Lux on the side of. Phoenix College. What are, your, yeah. what are your thoughts on this matchup? So, uh, from CGC side, um, they're gonna have to play around cooldowns, especially with Lux and Ezreal. As soon as Lux and Ezreal uses their cooldowns, that's the signal for the feeder to go all in. And especially with Vayne with the follow up on the Phoenix College side, they want to make sure that they can make sure that the Alistar doesn't have the like any um openings to go in and that way they can lock down their bot lane here so it's just pretty much whoever gets the opportunity whoever capitalizes on the opportunity will get the upper hand either early or mid game in bot lane and so but um you know just from um experience with the all-star i am kind of expecting the all-star to roam here um however um you know that's it seems like he can make any opportunity. It's just like mm -hmm. either ball lane or just anywhere else around. Yeah. The feeder has been quite the menace on these engaged supports lately. <laughs> yeah. Um, playing a Moo Moo, playing Alistar, I believe even the last week playing Alistar Pike with Dizzy. Um, bit more of a fun comp, but really knows how to pressure that map. But yep. looking at the rest of the, the team comps here, um, with the side of Kane, uh, do you think it's going to be a red Kane or a blue Kane? I feel like... They it's, have enough damage. They probably could get away with a red cane here. Even. Yeah, I'm thinking so too. Um, you know, it doesn't hurt to get more CC from the red cane form as well. But I can also see a blue cane. Um, these guys do have squishy champions, and it's just an invitation for you know a blue cane form. Mm -hmm. Um, just depends on uh how um it plays out. I might. I'm thinking um they'll try to shut down the Teemo early, but um. You know, we'll see. Maybe. Um, I do say I really, really like um, CGC's comp, comp-wise, comparatively to Phoenix College. I feel mm -hmm. like a lot of these picks are more comfort. Chaosity on his trademark LeBlanc. Um, seen this come out pretty much every time it gets through. Um, like I said, Katana on the Darius. Uh, quite the menace on that champion, especially considering how he's never getting through the ban phase. <laughs> yeah, for um, real. Um, Dizzy breaking out more of his patented like 1v9 AD carries and then just more of like a safe pick on the side of PC. We have Ezreal with the arcane ship to get out, Akali with the twilight shroud, Wukong with the clone, Teemo. Um, is Teemo, I, yeah, I definitely <laughs> think CGC has the advantage here with their comp draft, yeah. And you know, in either side, it's just again, it is to um, you know. If either one of them can capitalize on the opportunity, then that's what something they can do. Because um, from what I'm seeing from CGC is that they're going to be looking to make opportunities while, you know, and if I would say from the uh, Phoenix College side, um, you know, they're looking for mistakes mm -hmm. in, in a way. That's uh, how I can see from both sides here. 
Um, but, you know, it does seem like comforts from either side. Um, we'll see. We'll see how comfortable they can get into the match. Which Absolutely. As we are loading into Summoner's Rift for game one. Yes, sir. All right. Welcome to Summoner's All right. Rift. Alright. We're in with CGC on the blue side of the map, PC on the red side. See a bit of a five stack here from both teams. Flash in by the Alistair looking for the four-man pulverize. LeBlanc gets first blood. Starting with the W, Ignite coming out from LeBlanc. Flash coming out from Kane. Double kill on Dizzy. Oh wow, a lot of chaos. Is he flashing in, looking for the uh, lethal tempo? As lethal tempo stack finds the triple kill onto Teemo, Wukong barely gonna get out with his life. Katana's chasing him down. Doesn't have the apprehend. Did start the apprehend. That's gonna be a really rough start for his lane, but. Interesting uh, stack on uh, the side. Oof, that is, that is pretty rough. <laughs> Oh man, bot lane is going to be quite interesting. Oof. All right. All right. We have about a 2k gold lead at level one. Berserker um, great and Greaves and uh, oof. Berser Berserker Greaves already on the first back. Yeah, that's going to be really, really rough for Ezreal Lux to deal with. They can just play back. Ezreal does have that first strike to try to recuperate some of the gold, but it's 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 looking rough with an 11, about an 1,100 gold deficit in the bot lane. Um, also, just the summoner um, disparity across the teams. No flash on the Ezreal, no flash on the Teemo. It's looking oh, up. Oh, whoa, 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 Gets him really low. See, now, just because you're in the lead right now doesn't mean you can, you know, mm -hmm. look to be very aggressive because in the, you know, one blink into the eye, they're going to be... From the vein. Oh, here we go. Overized headbutt. The exhaust comes and down, but not quite that's... enough. Jizo is down, and he might look to collect another one, but... Doesn't quite find it. In the top lane, Teemo and Darius trading some hits. Teemo's just barely escaping his life from the bleed. Um, grasp on the Teemo as well, not looking really for that, like, full AP, you know, sort of burst you down build, more so just the sustain in lane, doesn't really want to give Darius that, uh, satisfaction of his early pressure. I'm interested to see how that turns out for them. Yeah. Oh, there's he got some action in the mid lane here. Oh, Chaosity with the... Ooh, very low. Chain comes down. No Ignite because of that early fight. Um, loses his, his clone as well here. Um, this could be scary. Kali with that D shield start against uh, Dark Seal plus Doran's Ring. Chaosity has a ton of damage here, but Kali has so much sustain that if Chaosity can't. Oh, get hit the, the turn around. Ignite comes down. I'm sure it can flip. Can't quite capitalize though. So now we got no summers, but Chaosity's Ignite is going to be up pretty quickly here. And Flash. just, you know. Oh, here we go. Here's a uh, in gank from Kane here. Shroud's gonna help escape, and Ignite comes in, and he's gonna take the Blanc down with her. Ooh. Big sure can flip from the Akali, trades one for one. Um, the assist over onto the Kane, but also an assist on the Wukong. Bit of an even trade. Looking yeah. down in bot lane. Uh, Phoenix College, his lane is pushing into them, and that's this is not where you want to be as yeah. Lux Ezreal. Bit of poke onto Defeater. But with that E, he's just able to sustain back up. Really hard to get any lethal damage down. Cosmic Singularity getting a bit of damage onto Vayne, who now has 
Double longsword plus greed. <laughs> catches him again, oh, gets a bit more damage. Oh, here we go. He's looking for something to be. Oh, but Big he's a little bit huge. Ooh. Huge shut down right there, and that's what I'm saying. You, you know, just because you have the lead doesn't mean you know you want to be too aggressive. Because again, in the blink of the eye, you can just already. You know, flip the table here, and it looks like Defeater is looking for a roam to mid lane with below health, a below half health here. Yeah. Ali does have this luxury though to be able to sort of play the map how he wants, and I'd like to point out even he's Defeater's breaking out the uh, the AP Alistar. Oh, the again. AP Alistar with the Dark Seal, the Dark Seal, and the Electrocute. Um, now imagine that if he started with the. Oh, did he start with the Dark Soul? No, he didn't start. No, with he Dark started Seal. with uh, Relic Shield. Maybe if he didn't go support, you know, <laughs> and started Dark Seal. Ooh. Yeah, he needs extra. You need the extra gold though. That's he didn't true. quite catch it, but um, Kane did gank top. Has an early blue from that early scuffle, but traded kills. Uh, got a kill on the Teemo. Trade Teemo got a kill on the Kane. Um, this gold lead is still about two to three k, so not quite too dispersed. Not too big right now, especially in the early game. Another the killer point. going over to Darius. Darius now about two levels on the Teemo. Ooh, that's a yikes for the Teemo right now. Yeah, this is looking rough in the top lane. They're gonna start up Ocean Drag, but Jerkin he's flip from the Akali. Is he gonna take it? Doesn't quite take it in. And it looks like Ocean Drag is going to go to CGC uncontested. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to look to just, uh, you know, uh, just dominate with presence here as Defeater is going to go in on the Wukong by Beep, by Boop. He's dead. Three, three in the bot lane looking for this Ezreal. Ooh. Condemn onto the Ezreal, pushes him just out before the Umbral um, hits him. I will take um, four. Let's just take the jungler and they're gonna get more camps out of that. It's just a free grump. Oh, yeah, here we go. That's a flash for Defeater. Ooh, you get collect Ezreal. Ooh, no Ezreal, but they'll collect the Lux instead. And it is blue cane for um mm -hmm. for this match too. Looking for that really aggressive flash coming out from Teemo. Uh, Turkey flip over onto Chaosity from oh, the Oh, we Mimic got him there. That true sight from Chain is just brutal. Yeah. Really disables Akali in her shroud. Uh, Katana looking for an invade here. Wukong, very weak compared to the Kane. Hasn't really Three levels been up. Uh, this is going to be very unfortunate. Ease yeah. back to the red, but Ghost activate on the side of Darius. Katana's going to collect What's he gonna one do? more. Find his 600 gold rat. Oh no. Katana's already going ramping in, uh, in jungle already. <laughs> Dizzy has to back out here. No mana, no health. Ali's in there, but with what is he going to do? No cooldown. Takes zero damage. Cosmic Binding catches him. Uh, and it looks like Lux is going to find it. Uh, Dizzy's back in there, but runs straight into Ezreal Q. That is a good pick from um, PC there for Ezreal. They're slowly closing the gap in balling right now, and you know just the fact that they're still able to you know kill him and fight him in balling that's gonna give them a good confidence boost, just to show that you know that that uh in, you know that is big invade is not gonna be that much in the laning phase here. Vayne is a scaler though, so we can't really count it out yet. Ezreal is, is Ezreal finding these picks early is really important but it's going to be really really difficult for to deal with that van especially when it's backed up by an ap alistair oh uh some Tr trading here in the mid lane need a bit more jungle pressure on the side of phoenix college i'm, I'm really not liking this wukong pick if we're not doing anything with it that's uh, true down about a level and a half even and we just can't seem to do anything well cgc is just everywhere Peter oh, looking for some damage onto the bot lane, but it's Lux Ezreal, so... It is Lux Ezreal. And, yep, these guys are just gonna walk into the enemy blue, uh, Phoenix blue side here. Oh, Vayne! Vayne finally yeah. activated. Rizzo trying to get the tower. Yeah. Not sure if anyone caught that, but... 
Uh, Dizzy oh, actually here we go. the wall. Oh, see a fight in the top, top lane here. There. Can't quite do anything. Oh, he got him with the, the fake. He's uh -oh. AOE from the KMQ finds both of them. A little, little more health, and you know, maybe. <laughs> maybe you pull off the juke there. And then there's a mid lane fight over going on over here. And five point ooh, strike misses, strike? finds it. Gets the passive. Uh, he does have R, but it's kind of hard to deal with when. Ooh, wait, no, I want to use Mimic. Katana taking a lot of damage here. This could be Teemo's time to capitalize. Yep, right here. Back up. Cool. All right. So the gold, uh, the gold differences is, uh, it is increasing by a lot. <laughs> it, it has increased. We are up to about 7.5k difference. Um, as we're rifting mid, trying to find at least. At least three plates here. Three plates. Three plates split, but um, this will be a big payout for everyone. Um, Bottom and Bop just trying to clear his jungle. Oh. Kane finds them looking for him again. I don't think he's going to fall for the same trick this time. It doesn't matter. Umble Trespass plus the Alistar. That's two stacks on the Dark Seal. Dizzy's down here just content with farming the wave. Yep. Flux Ezreal are annoying, but they're they're not going to have any kill power. Not with uh, Vayne already getting Kraken Slayer here. Mm-hmm. Kraken build getting a lot more popular after Vayne's recent buffs, her Q at max rank. I'd be curious to see if he's actually maxing it. He is. Um, playing this Q max Vayne, we see a pick on the middle lane. Oh, here we go. Falling gank here. Oh my goodness. The sh oh. They got damage. shred. And oh. Vayne picks up both kills there. Ooh. Saw the Kane pick up both kills on the bot lane with that Dark Harvest. Looking like he's gonna have a probably a Yomu's or a Prowlers on the back. Prowlers. Prowlers um, but yeah. we saw Teemo trade one for one with Katana about a level, if not two levels down, and quite a substantial amount of gold. I don't the shot, know that's pretty good. if that will swing it in his favor, though. This recurve bow is not really accomplishing anything. But um, as I was saying, Vayne's recent buff, max rank uh, Q on Vayne. About 115% AD ratio. You see another fight. In oh, the there you go. Peter looking for a fight, taking that reduced damage from the R. Gets the Dark Harvest on the Lux. Oh, Vayne the going Vayne. in. Huge damage. Causes Vayne's thirsty. Wide. Finds the kill on the Lux. But he oh, oh. W Q from Defeater. They Ooh. find uh, bot for bot. Bot Those for bot. And both shutdowns is uh, going to uh, Ezreal. Uh, one to Ezreal, one to Lux. All right. Mm. But that is scary to see that fight because now Vayne is just like, <laughs> oh man, Vayne is uh, Vayne is strong right now. Vayne, Vayne is really strong. Um, like I said, with that Q Max, like these these AD items that give you so much AD, so much crit, just really, you hit like a freight train. You can get up to like 400 to 500 damage autos on a Q. Um, but more so, we don't see an early Morello or even Oblivion Orb on the side of Lux. And nope. Katana's gonna look for a kill. Bone plating saves Teemo's life. Not gonna quite kill through the bleed. Another scuffle in the mid lane. Arc comes Top down from Death Sniper as the feeder's there. He's ready. That's the clone, bro. That's oh. not the clone. I'm the clone. Um, <laughs> All right, that's Doesn't a pick up a top lane. You're gonna there's just just solo tower diving both. Ooh. That is just a cleanup right there. Oh, and they're gonna pick up one on Lux. Oh man, this is getting it's, a little out of control right now. Is he playing with his food? Not play with it too much. Played with it a little too much. Oof. Mid tower going down over to the side of CGC. And it's looking a little grim. Six stacks on the Dark Seal for LeBlanc. Three stacks on the Dark Seal for Alistair. Oh, um, and then it looks like they're going to spot their next prey here. Peppa the with the... Stack. Oh, good. Kane okay, shift doesn't quite matter. It's Kane. He has movement speeds. It's a, it's a Shadow Assassin Kane. What mm -hmm. can you do? Oh, but they look like they're going to try to catch the feeder in mid lane. But with the... <laughs> oh my goodness, he is tanky. With uh, here. Alistar R is reducing damage by quite a substantial amount. I believe it's like oh, six. Here's a collapse here. Yep. That's Peter a Penser. The Lux. Shuriken flip finding the Kane. Can't quite go in. LeBlanc Ooh, with the Mimic on the W. And they're just looking to take 
everything from PC at this point. 30 to 9, about a 14,000 gold deficit. Um, Jizo, the only one really outputting DPS right now. Uh, but even so, yeah, I mean... Yeah, even so, he, it's an Ezreal into a Kane, LeBlanc, Darius. Darius, um, Vayne, all a star. It's just like... You're gonna be like a prior, like a number one target, and there's and really not much you can do here. For this Ezreal, Umble Trust Pass. Oh, that was, uh, that was a good, that was a good catch. Okay. Yeah, Cosmic Binding Finding. This Lux has been hitting, actually carrying bot lane with these bindings. Yes. Yes. Ooh. Curious to see what our Dark Harvest stacks are looking like right now. Oh, okay. That's uh, that's an ult coming from the vein, and you're gonna get nothing out of that ult there. But it does looking pretty grim. Um, you know, it's just uh, CGC is just out damaging mm -hmm. <laughs> pretty wildly. Yeah, and while Jizo only has like damage here, oh, and is there something going on top lane? Yeah, <laughs> even Jizo. Yeah, even Jizo's like being able to put out damage. It's just the feeder is also able to put the same amount of damage as Ezreal, or maybe even more here. Yeah, they're heading back. Manages to find the return kill onto the Wukong as he looks for the engage. Doesn't quite find it with the side. Trying to cash the uh, the Akali. That's an ult onto the vein. Oh, Yara comes down, he should be safe. Oh my Here's the guard that passes a debuff, finds a power oh. on Ezreal. Oh, Ezreal come on, it's Slam. Oh. Jam as the feeder is also coming. Oh, you know, out. definitely jam on with the All-Star, though. Mm -hmm. But they're one-shotting, that's not good. <laughs> Alpha up to 14 souls on that Dark Harvest, just doing a ton of damage on this Execute. They look to siege through these Teemo shrooms. Teemo going for the uh, newly changed Nashers. I don't know if I agree with that with the Grasp, but uh, the wave clear from the AP is really nice into this team. It doesn't really have a whole lot of siege, but it's more dive focused. Yeah. And not to mention, um, we have the all star with eight Dark Seals. Just <laughs> and the Night Harvest. Oh, and the Night Harvest. Find Jizo in the bot lane with the Umbral Trespass. Really hard to deal with that with only one Arcane Ship. Until Navori, if he makes it to Navori, it's going to be... Yeah. It's going to be it's deadly. Gonna be yeah. It's going to be very deadly. Mm -hmm. Collector on the side of Darius. A bit of a greedy buy, but if he's able to just flash under these towers, defeat our tanking them with his R damage reduction, that's how tanky the Darius is with Core Drinker. Um, they're just looking for payouts at this point. Yeah. A lot of greedy purchases. Uh, Vayne going for that IE. I really, I really like this build on Vayne. I, the the dam or the attack speed that you get from Kraken or any of the marksman items it's pretty good. is basically enough yeah. for Vayne as it, as it is. You don't need to get that early PD anymore. You don't need to go Rage Blade if you don't want to. Um, you just hit like a freight train in the dude. Yeah. Like, it's it's the... Vayne's looking for the Akali. Final hour comes down looking for uh, the Lux. Kana on the side. Can he outdo the Akali? Ooh, the feeder catches the Akali arm. That was a kill still. <laughs> yeah, it's like kill secure. That's Dark Seal stats. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true. More than he's um, maxed out on Dark Seal. He's got that movement speed now if he got to get to the Magi's. Uh, CGC hunting. Oh, the monkey. in the monkey. hands of the vein. Oh, the blood is gonna. Um, Darius passive is gonna actually finish that out. But vein kind of wants a kill there. I mean, you know, mm. kill, kill still. Uh, oh my, menace. <laughs> All the stories of menace. Pulverize, trample, electrocute, prophet. Uh, max dark seal stacks too. <laughs> yeah. No oh, magis. Mm -hmm. I'm expecting a magis buy from the Alistair here on the oh. on the reset. Most definitely. And Chaos Dares. he's gonna pick up on the Ezreal Jizo. Oh, oh Dizzy. Dizzy. For uh, Dizzy does not care. Dizzy nope. just absolutely don't care. Mm -hmm. he has so oh, much to stay with goodness. the PC. There's no grievous wounds on the side of PC. Oh, Dizzy can just play in their help. face. Oh but oh here we go. Here comes his team. And Chaosity, ooh. Oh, ignited the wrong, the, the wrong Wukong here. Clone for clone. 
Clone for clone, but oh. Ooh, Chaos is playing with fire right now. All right. Oh wait. Oh, Alsar did get the. Um, <laughs> the pick up the magi. The, the magi's. All right. Pick up the magi. Here. Into the fiendish codex. I would not be surprised to see a cosmic, especially after the like, cosmic buffs uh, two patches ago. Flash from oh, Tina, yeah. Any of that, I'm out. Um, Dizzy just looking to fight. Does not care. Looking for kills on the Lux. Kali are coming out. Doesn't hit the shuriken flip. Hits it on a minion. That is not Dizzy. Uh, and Thunderbolt's <laughs> gonna collect Kali yeah. as he passes away. Katana looking for this rat as he's doing circles, doing laps, but... Welcome to the slam. I said that in a, in a different way. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, and the Ezreal is coming out, but it... Oh my goodness, they're though. Lux is looking for this vein, but unfortunately, there's also a cane there. I need to see the damage charts after this smash for the for all the star here. Definitely outputting a lot of damage. Has that movement speed? He dodges out oh. with the dragon flip, but Kali's going in out. here. Kali you don't want to damage. mess with him. Don't mess with the defeater. Oh, uh, but he's gonna get some help here with Chaosy, and the uh, Hollow Star is finally down and loses those Magi stacks. Chaosy is gonna look to avenge his fellow cow. Oh, but that's all he's gonna get out of that. Darius it has the Teemo's number here. <laughs> Darius is at the point where he's just gonna go. Like, that keeps yeah. you doing a ton of damage on the edge. Looks like oh. coming out trying to clear the wave. Looks uh, like they're doing Baron here. Mm -hmm. Two man Baron. This sh definitely should be enough to do Baron. Yeah, Vayne does a ton of damage. Oh, T Flash. Oh. QW out from the Darius Poison to come oh. on. Come on and slam. Ooh. Blue team kill. We need to play Space Jam for this, Darius, now. <laughs> Trigger Flip finds it, dodges out from the Apprehend, doesn't. Oh, kind of damage from the RX. The passive is, is gonna cool. kill though. Um, that's still, that's a lot of passive damage, especially this uh, in 20 minutes. <laughs> oh, looks oh. like uh -oh. we have some connection issues. Uh, CGC is pushing for the end. Vayne does a ton of damage to these towers. Shelly's looking for a push as well. Uh, Not gonna get the dancing Shelly. Yeah, right? no uh, dancing Shelly. Um, Oh, Dizzy. Dizzy with final hour. Oh, Finally, Dizzy Clint. Find it. Nope. A little, a little too deep in. It looks like an FF on the side of Phoenix College. Wow. That is um. That's a <laughs> that's a steamroll there. We'll see the All Star damage. Twelve thousand three hundred and one. <laughs> that's <laughs> like um uh, second most in the uh, PC side. <laughs> yeah. Um. That level one was absolutely insane for CGC, but more importantly, I want to highlight the 2v2 in the bot lane where Jizo was able to capitalize off of Lux's light binding on not only on the Alistair, but also finding the pick on Dizzy getting that early gold. Yeah. Unfortunately, you know, I just don't think it was enough with the way the state of the game was. Uh, yeah. And you know, it might have been different if it wasn't like for the level one invade. Uh, seeing how bot lane was with Jizo and um, being able to capitalize. And, you know, we saw the early fights in bot lane, you know, they were able to still, um, you know, fight him even though the vein was like really fed at that point. But again, it is a scaling vein. It didn't really matter that much. And we also had the other lanes that were, um, that were just getting a little out of control there. So we definitely are going to see completely different set of bands. <laughs> For um, for the PC side, um, but that that's that's the game one. That was the game one. Bo good effort to both teams. Congratulations to CGC for taking game one. Um, I'm I'm very interested to see how PC bounces back from this. Yeah, we'll see what they're gonna how they're gonna adapt into uh, game two here, and we'll see right. like hopefully a different outcome.
absolutely. We'll be right back with you guys in a little bit for game two.
Welcome back to game two. Uh, teams have already gone through draft as we see top and jungles being picked. Uh, interesting choice of the Gangplank on the side of CGC for Katana. Never seen him play this champion or even pick it, let alone with the nurse coming from about two patches ago. I'm a little worried that this might be just a uh, placebo champion to fill out the gaps for CGC's roster. But looking at the team so far, uh, Sky J, what do you think about the team comps coming out? Mm, from Paradise, or not Paradise, sorry, uh, PC side, I got no clue. I think they're trying to do something unorthodox. Yeah, this Shaco, this Yasuo, very, we very aggressive uh, solo yeah, QE champions. Them. I'm not too sure how they're going to fit in this uh, sort of more organized environment where it's really hard for Shaco to thrive when teams can play right. around him. Yeah. yeah, also a little bit easier to work with. Timer ban coming out, no shock. Um, yeah, also easier to work with because of how prevalent knockups are in this current meta. But I mean, Renekton and Shaco, we're not seeing a whole lot of it. There's yeah. the, the funny, we talked about it a bit in the intermission that we suspected uh, Chandler Gilbert to play something a little funky. <laughs> Lee Sin bot is a little funky. Yeah, that is a little funky there. So, mm, is that a, is that a Yasuo uh, ADC? I think that is a Yasuo ADC. No, if that's oh that's wait, not I forgot. Bonus. They're in they're in order. <laughs> no, oh, okay. Oh, okay. So this was a very popular pick on Nyla's release. Um, wait, the, really? Lee yes. Sin and Nyla? Lee Sin and Nyla was a very popular pick. The reason being is that Nyla and Lee both have extremely strong early games. So with the Conqueror plus the level XP that Nyla gives, it's really, really hard to duel in a more chaotic environment. Um, I'm interested to see if they did what was popular back then. Yeah, but I'm interested in myself. i never seen this. Uh... On... Looking Just at the it. comps, we have rounding out Phoenix College's team. Vigar, really, really strong AD carry right now. Really oppressive in the lane as well. Just the hyperscaler, you know, press R, win game type of character. So mm -hmm. well Zyra for the support. In the 2v2, it's really, really difficult for Lee and Nyla to get on them. But if they do, it's really hard for them to live. Yeah. Um, Yasuo and Aurelia in the mid lane, a bit of a brawl comp on both sides. Kind of versatile there. You probably could see a lot of fights in mid lane with uh, mm -hmm. just these two here. Um, I'm I'm very much looking forward to the spot lane from Chandler Gilbert, just due to the, <laughs> the nature <laughs> of which it comes from. Um, but also in this top lane matchup, much different um, dynamic from the Teemo as we shift over to the Renekton against Gangplank. Um, I actually, I don't know. I don't, I don't like either comp. I'm not yeah, gonna to be honest, I'm looking at these comps like, what am I going to say to this? This is, a, this is a solo, these are solo Q comps. These are very much solo Q comps. Um, yeah. And I think for that reason, I think Chandler Gilbert has the edge because they seem to all thrive in that sort of chaotic mess. <laughs> of, uh, yeah. Just making the game this, this is looking like their fun comp here that's what yeah. their, their comp is and you know uh phoenix college side i think they're just trying to like figure out play it a little unorthodox here and you know with the shaco i'm i can definitely see um shaco looking to be aggressive on um bot lane to start off uh especially when vegar get his cage because uh you know you trapping them trap them in there Get the Shaco, you know, um, box, and then get the Zyra stuns. It's just like they're gonna be stuck in there. But um, they're both uh, Lisa and Nyla are kind. They are pretty mobile. Mm -hmm. They have um, good mobility kits in their stuff. They can literally just um, dash into one of each uh, to each other, really. So um, that may be be a little hard to pull off but from what my guess is going to be i think shaco is going to look to play bot side early mm -hmm. yeah. um yeah especially with nyla having that um sort of mini gwen immune on her w that she can spread to her allies it's really hard to punish them but 
Um, looking at these teams, what who are your who are your people to watch? Who are who are you most interested in seeing this game? I think for me, it's if it's not the Nyla and the Lee, I'm really interested in this mid lane matchup. Yasuo and Torelia, big skill matchup, big like flashy champions. So yeah, and you know that's actually what I'm gonna look into as well. I'm thinking of the mid lane. There's gonna be a lot of fighting in the mid lane, and just like. A single bit of edge would you know be very helpful for either one of them but what i'm also going to be looking to is uh how the shako is going to be played out because from looking at it um uh, again i i'm guessing the shako might gank bot lane but bot lane itself is also kind of hard to gank mm -hmm. gank plank uh you know his oranges you know you know the whole deal and uh Aurelia, very mobile and you know also you have to watch out with mumu because then with Shaco, you know, you're really relying on these ganks and, you know, farming. Yeah, you can farm. It's pretty safe, but Shaco really thrives in those ganks. And if you can get those ganks off, that's going to be very helpful with Shaco later on. If not, uh, that's going to be really tough for Shaco. Mm -hmm. I agree. And we didn't really uh, talk too much about the jungle matchup, but completely different champions doing sort of the same thing. Amumu looking for these like hard engage with bandage toss. Uh, Shaco just kind of looks to pick up people off in levels two to three. Yeah, and um, I think Amumu has a little more like leeway when it comes to ganks uh, compared to Shaco because um, Amumu, he definitely has the opportunity to gank top lane here. Um, Yasuo, that's just a bit to play off of his win wall, but definitely could gank mid lane here. And then bot lane is just. Um, it's just a matter of being able to reach them. Absolutely. As we get into game, we see a bit of an aggressive invade from the top side, Aurelia, GP, and Numu. As bot lane is moving in. Oh, they definitely see them. Yeah, this is this is kind of what I was hinting at. So the entire strat around this Nyla Lee combo early on was proxying. Me because of Nyla's so. early XP bonus. Uh, looks like PC knows what's going on. They have an idea. Oh, uh, they know now. Ward goes down, finds a bit of stacks on the Phenomenal Evil. Double root. But I don't think this is going to hinder CGC as they're just looking for the proxy. The proxy? Yeah. Wow. So the whole plan here is Nyla's Q gives her the extended reach, so she clears waves really, really fast. Plus, we have the Targons from the Lee. But into double poke mage, they're gonna take a lot of damage. Yeah, and you know, that's not exactly oh too great, but it looks like they're just gonna continue proxying here. Mm -hmm. This is interesting. interesting. Ooh, battle in the mid lane. That Sniper holding on to that Q finds the Oh, the, there it is. Finds the first blood just with ignite. Relia stepping just a little too close, a little too confident. Um, oh, and there we is. We see the silly going on in the bot lane yeah. as they're looking to double proxy the lanes. This is, <laughs> so this is what happened on Nyla's release. He's very, very popular because of how quick Lee can clear with his E and how quick Nyla can clear with her Q. Has to heal the hook because taking quite a bit of minion yeah, damage. They you are taking a lot. Dropping. They're next getting a little aggressive. Yasuo Oh, packed. there it is. Yasuo is not having it. Oh, well, doesn't quite find it. Oh, he's gonna get there. Gets it. Can, can he oh, duel the lead he, here? Can he, he has duel lead? Oh, that's a lot of damage. But... There's a lot of damage. Oh, lead stuck. with a flash. Flash cube. It gets wind walled. Shaco's looking. All right. Q misses. Shaco, Shaco said that's enough. Q shift Stop with the goes fun. Out. Fox goes out. Dizzy's in here on his own. No wards, no way out, no flash. Sonic wave connects. Is he gonna go on to the Yasuo? Yasuo just kind of baiting over that box. <laughs> the recall as there's some scuffle in the top lane. Renekton looking oh. for this gangplank gets a bit of trade damage, force them off the wave. Lee Sin's trying to like Q to the Shaco to get out, but he seems mm -hmm. to be missing the Q here. And yeah, it looks like Ignite coming oh. down from the gangplank. Minion damage is just too much. Ignite coming down from the Shaco. As yeah, Yasuo the fun here stops here. Up more gold. <laughs> and oh no, we see Nyla locking up. 
I was gonna end up being like, no, you know what, we, you had your fun. I'm gonna go not let the virus stack infinitely. You know what? I, I just, I actually was thinking like round two. <laughs> oh, Nyla finds Zyra. Zyra finds the root. Nyla has a bunch of damage. Both dash is coming out though, but now she's in a two v one situation. Flash comes out. Flash comes out from the Zyra with the heal. Uh, Flash comes out from both sides. Now Jizo just needs to oh, the root. Two root hits. Ton of Nyla. damage coming from Vigar and the Zyra. Q finds it and has the auto. Fighting against the numbers advantage for it's not exactly like the greatest thing you can do at the moment. Mm -hmm. But it looks like next. Dizzy. Flash comes out, managed to barely. get away just with his life. Very barely got out of there. Okay, now it looks like things are a little under control. <laughs> yeah, things have uh, slowed down a little bit. Um, I like the highlight in that entire scuffle because Shaco was gone for so long. It's about a two camp difference from a Moomoo. So we see that level difference. Uh, of Aurelia was allowed to catch up a little bit in CS and XP, but this gold difference on the Yasuo boots to just a Doran's Blade. Kind of how we saw last game with Dizzy having the Greaves early on. Yeah. Uh, this is really, really rough for Aurelia in this sort of like brawly comp. Aurelia finds the stun, but Steel Tempest with Lethal Tempo is sacked. Steel Tempest finds her again. Alright, it looks like bot lane is being pushed up here. Mm -hmm. Back in the, we're doing some standard laning. CGC is like, you know what, I don't really want to do that again. Yeah, you know, big. it was fun while it lasted, but big damage onto the Lisa. This we're in top lane, Shaco's here looking for Katana. Does Renekton have stun as they chase him in? Renekton's no um, slice and dice. Oh, that's flash a flash comes out, out from Katana. We have it's Q coming in. Flash coming out with W. That's going to be a kill over to Wifey on the Renekton. All right. A little different from last game, where now it seems a little more tame mm -hmm. in the early game here. Actually, about a thousand gold um, difference on the side of Phoenix College with this uh, CS gap. Um, I'm sorry, gold. Oh, Moomoo's looking. Moomoo's so, left looking mid lane here. Ignite, Ignite, Ignite going comes down. Take two That's tower shots. This is going to be rough. Banish toss. Oh, curiosity. Oh, Ooh, still very close. doesn't quite make it. Good attempt, but that is going to be a shutdown. 300 gold over to Chaosity. Actually, 600 gold, my bad. Oh, oh she's not doing bottom the fight as well. Doesn't have ah. a. Oh, not in range of Ignite. Yeah, not in range. Mm -hmm. This They're closing a little more. Oh, they're going back to his uh, proxy. Going back here. to proxying. This is actually a really good play by CBC because how low on mana. Oh, actually, CBC I don't is. know about this right oh. now. Shaco's here. They didn't count for the clown. Um, oh, but gameplay both coming in. Oh, and in barrage, nice. double kill for Dizzy as they hit level six. And Jizo just has no mana to do anything here. Oh, he's gonna die oh. to the Shaco box. Oh, Jizo trade is one for one. That's one for big. one. <laughs> I was wondering what's going on with um, <laughs> with um, Defeater <clears throat> died to the Shaco box while hitting it. I'm like, oh, okay. But that was a big uh, ult from the game plank on that bot fight right there. Finding finding double assist is really, really big. Gets the stun. Oh, got another fight going shuffle. in mid lane. Last Yasuo rep comes oh. out. Yasuo has the advantage here with his lethal tempo stack. Finds it, but Peppa's oh. right there looking for the kill. Peppa six yeah, has Curse of the Sad Mummy. Is he going to use it? Is he going to hold oh. it? Doesn't have... Not using the bandage toss. Oh, he was and looking Yasuo for it. Yasuo makes it out. Um, I, I kind of wish Peppa had this. Used <laughs> his curse there yeah. to secure the kill. Sonic Wave connects on the Zyra. He's not a tower drive. Bot lane. A top lane's going to get to... Ooh, the turnaround! Ooh. Why if you have a huge turnaround? Yasuo is still in the mid lane. Uh, uh, round of... three, uh, proxy on bot lane again, and Shaco yeah. once more. We're see we've seen this story before, but this time no game plank is not alive. Let's see if we got the damage all coming off of the Nyla. Huge damage, huge Ooh. healing. Dizzy doing a all ton right. of damage on this Lee Sin, going for that. Looks like the Saudi build it could be. Oh, oh. finds the Nyla. Um, oh, does... oh, coming out. It is. But it's gonna pay for his life 
just for that kill there. From Lee, but getting that return kill. All right, different story from the last uh, proxy there. And this this proxy is just look at the level difference. We have Lee at seven, and this is mostly because of the Nyla as well. But Lee at seven, uh, Nyla at six, to Viger and Zyra just sitting at six and five. Pep is sitting at level 7 because Shaco is having to constantly leak his camps up to deal with this bot lane trauma. Um, <laughs> and it's, it's surprisingly working. I, I never seen like a bot lane trying to proxy so early in the game. Like, <laughs> that is a foreign concept. Nyla, the Nyla passive is just so strong. Like, you get level 2, I think, off of the first wave. You see a bit of a fight in level in mid. Still Tempest connect with damage reduction, fighting top. Might be being a bit more uh, confident in trading here. Slice and Dice goes out, dodges out the barrel, but doesn't have any fury right now. Katana looking to trade. Peppa's looking mid, finds Death Sniper. Death Sniper flashes the stun, trying to get out. I don't want to be bandaged tossed. Mm -mm. Oh, all right. And Peppa is still uh, shadowing mid lane. Mm -hmm. Doesn't Peppa. seem like um, Sniper has. connects into the event horizon cage. Just getting some free autos down. Doesn't quite do anything. Oh, Sniper mid lane again. gang gang. Oh, Sniper didn't know. Feeder oh. getting caught by the Everfrost from that early goal. It's really, really hard to dive this Viger with the early uh, Everfrost. We got Peppa uh, re-ganking mid, got the Yasuo, and now we got the Rift in mid lane. Shaco ganking top. Gank is looking really low. He has to use the orange to get cleansed. Oh, he's using his ult on the Shaco, and he's just going to get shot. Ooh. And now we got Peppa coming in to uh, potentially clean up here. Dominus coming out from the Renekton. and Slice and Dice doesn't find Ooh. anything for the reset. Tola the Meek finds it, and now... Wifey's just like, yeah, I'll duel you. I have Conqueror. It's Q coming out. Peppa's just gonna walk around him. <laughs> Demonic on the side of Peppa. I really like that Peppa was as patient as he was to deal with that Yasuo, because we knew that Yasuo had no flash. Yasuo um, didn't really have vision there either. Mm -hmm. like, it's just a good opportunity to re-gank, and uh, especially went from mid to top to to gank there. That's a pretty good uh, you know, ganking route. For the Pepper. <clears throat> Absolutely. Um, Black Cleaver finished on the side of Dizzy. Mortal Shield Boat finished on the side of Defeater. Um, Zyrus sitting on a lost chapter. Doesn't quite have the damage yet from Leandri's, but with Everfrost, it's really, really hard for CGC to, been, to continue playing this lane how they've wanted to. Yeah. Shaco spotted on the bot side again. Looking for possibly a play here with the sieve doesn't really find it. Root catches just doesn't have the damage. So no much damage, sustain. but got a double root. Can really capitalize on it. Mm -hmm. Bada beam bob is going to uh, spot Peppa on the blue side, but that really, means it's going to really risky. Yeah, this is risky. There are collapsing. Clone comes out. Yeah. Oh, the old Zyra ult's coming in. A lot of damage. There is the Vizio trading with the Immortal Shield Bow. CGC still really, really healthy, and bottoming pop on the side of PC just there isn't a lot they can do in this 3v3. Curses yeah. have money still available to a Mumu. K2, they're looking for the Mula, but they can't barely it. not gonna catch those two. Oh, you the flash Q. Flash Q. Sonic Wave oh, catches, Dragon Rage comes you? out, Heal comes out. Jizo's just gonna make it out with the skin of his teeth, but Elmo is not. He's kind of, he's kind of just stuck there. Yeah, he's Gizo's gonna just die gonna there. Die to the demonic. And you know, it's it's just unfortunate because in that early fight, um, you know, they managed to get Wifey. two. Oh, Wifey's down. <laughs> Wifey had the right idea, but didn't have quite the HP for it. Collector yeah. gonna find a bit of extra gold on the crocodile. But yeah, an early fight. Uh, they oh wait, by the oh they're gonna look to. Secure Kiosity here. Fear catches. Kiosity has to flash over to Red Bull. Oh, Bob. the Tornado's gonna... Tempest with the last breath. Barely catch it by the teeth. <laughs> but again, um, you know, in that bot fight, in the early fight, uh, they got like two ults from uh, PC side early. So they had the old advantage um, coming into that last fight for um, bot lane. So 
It's yeah. pretty unfortunate. They couldn't secure anything, but um, you know, just they had to capitalize with the ult advantage they have now. But, um, in matter of fact, sniper, that sniper is looking really good on this Yasuo so far. Playing really, really well. A bit down on CS, doesn't quite have that Bork yet compared to the Relia. Proxy uh, round four. <laughs> and bottoming bop, finding Katana, Ignite comes down. Uh, 300 gold over to Wifey. As once again, CGC is just kind of looking to play inside the bot lane. But this time, Peppa is pushing in the wave. Probably looking for a dive here. Really, really risky into Zyra Vigar. We do have a bit of good wave clear on um, for Jizo here. They have really good wave oh. They also have a ton of really good anti dive Flash from Peppa. That was a out. big burst. But CGC is still just content with taking this wave. They're down, you know, two levels across the board in the bot lane, but they're not down that much gold. Death Sniper looking oh. for a fight here. Bottom of the box there. Cannonball comes down. Chaos trying to find anything. Ults the wind wall. Doesn't quite have the damage. Oh. Death Sniper reading for this. One Trades, for kill one. for kill. Assist for assist. That was a that was a good game playing gold from there, or else um, Death Sniper would have just gotten away with just a kill there. Mm -hmm. Katana been looking really good on this GP. But oh, deja vu! Looking <laughs> with a bit more life steal, a bit more items. Back on that double proxy, just trying to farm XP. Double the wave, double the XP. Uh, well, we got people respawning, mm -hmm. and they are taking I damage. I guess nice cage fine uh -oh. this really They're gonna pay for that. And it looks like Dizzy's trying to get out. Dizzy looking for a kill on Jizo. Jizo is content with farming these stacks of phenomenal evil. Um, looking for the kill on Death Sniper. Now flashes out, takes a tower shot, gets caught by the cage, and that's oh. shut down over to Death Sniper. Uh, Jizo didn't get that. 900 gold. Oh, poor and, wifey uh, just gets smited to death. Ugh. Smited like a minion. Oh, that's top they're tier. trying yeah, to they're trying to farm up uh, wifey now. Mm -hmm. Oh, it looks like Bobby Boop is gonna look to make a play on the gangplank. Oh, doesn't get the guaranteed crit from Deceive because he went for the box first. Now GP has a chance to fight oh. back. Clone comes out as Bobby Bob's trying to force the GP. Oh, he knows. He knows back. the real one. He spotted the real one. Knight comes yeah. out. Collector collects. That's gold over to Katana. Uh, oh, wait. The clone is just chasing. Ooh, chasing. Oh, wait. Peppa's, Peppa's getting it in there, though. Mm hmm. Last breath comes out, but doesn't quite have the damage. This Moom is just oh. so tanky with the chain vest. Rally is there, finds the kill. Doesn't have last breath to uh, escape here. Sonic Wave connects onto the Zyra, gets the root and a bit of damage from Jizo. Two level difference on Dizzy uh, compared to Jizo, as well Jizo? as Defeater to Elmo. Jizo with 160 stacks. That's uh, that's pretty good. Yeah, not bad. Jizo's getting very, very scary, very quick. <laughs> um, so even though Defeater is up two levels, he's still gonna get hit like a freight train. It's the late game that they're trying to play for here. Mm -hmm. I'm about trying to protect this tower. From but Jizo's gonna be alone with the tower. He's gonna die soon. Jizo, mm -hmm. you gotta move somewhere else, man. <laughs> oh, oh he's... Down. Flash comes out from Jizo, but I don't think it's enough. Oh, the juke? Sonic Wave just goes wide though, but Jizo has nowhere to go. Oh my uh, god! Ooh! Bob comes out. Bobby Bob doesn't quite have anything to do with it. I saw what Jizo was trying to do, and I, I respect that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it looks like they're gonna try to clean up here. They're focused on the Lee Sin, but they're just too mobile. These guys can just dash into each other. Not yeah, much you can do. Dash, oh, he's <laughs> looking. Oh, he's so, he's so eyeing on the Lee Sin here. Oh, why would you go back? No oh oh my goodness! <laughs> Heal from the Nylar is massive. Clone goes down. Oh, Dizzy, and... you're playing with fire. Wow, they deleted Yasuo just like that. Yeah. Uh, Yasuo going with his Bork is not a bad buy, but going into the... I assume Shield Bow afterwards, I don't really like because... It's at this point he should have just picked up the crit anyways. Yeah. And gone IE. If this if this Bork was Shield Bow and then he was building into IE, 
he might have the damage to decide these fights a little bit more. But if he's going board, he's going for more survivor build, some more on hit. It's it's a little counterintuitive rebuilding your crit at this point. Yeah. You know, it doesn't have that much crit on him right now. It's just uh, kind of you know, counterproductive for the Yasuo at the moment, but... So sitting on about 30% with the crit cloak. Yeah. Uh, bot lane is moving in. Is he going for that lethality rebuild? Still super tanky with the Black Cleaver. The item is so broken right now. <laughs> um, PD finished on the side of Mila and... We, fought, we have uh, Leandri's. Oh, oh the tower die from Dizzy. That was a good kick. Big insight from Dizzy finds the Zyra. Zyra's not alive long enough to either get XP or get gold. Oh, the Riff coming down bot lane. They're definitely going to look to dive here, and Sniper's going to oh. tell them no. Banner toss catches. Oh, Dave. the triple! Oh, the triple! Oh, it doesn't quite have the damage, but it heals so much. It's not going to be enough. Immortal Shield Bow Prog is gonna come in and Gizo is unfortunately gonna go down. That was a really big ult, but uh, the trio has too much damage. Too much healing, too much damage. Like I said, if that's if if this is if this is Bork plus say like a BD or a BT or just any like regular AD item, or even if it's Shield Bow plus IE, like that that sniper probably wants out of it at least at that level. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. just looking to push this commanding lead. I don't know what happened. I blinked and we're at 13.5k. <laughs> um, it was all tame and then it started to become untamed. Yeah, he finds oh. the feeder. Still Tempest also finds a kill coming out. Oh, but yeah, that's not going to be enough. He's kind of in the middle of that. Death Sniper is going to catch one with big shutdown 500 gold. He's going to flash, but he's not going to be able to follow up. In fact, he's going to die. <laughs> That need to respect that Lee Sin damage. Black Cleaver. That was, was the Conquer. So that was the adrenaline. Yeah, he that was the adrenaline it. there. Yeah, he was feeling it. One more. <laughs> yeah, I gotta calm down, mate. IE finished on the side of Katana. I uh, haven't really talked too much about top lane, despite how <laughs> how often it's been ganked this game. <laughs> yeah. Um, see about a two item difference from GP over to Renekton. Uh, this katana is going to start hurting quite a bit. One shots the clone, takes a bit of damage, but does AP shake, but doesn't quite do too much. Zyra is looking for katana. Katana is completely content with just playing in their faces, though. Says, I have barrels. I know you can see my barrels. I'm just going to one shot you, anyways. Yep. Chico's looking. So is the Renekton oh, flash. The flash comes be. out. Here. And yeah, that was just <laughs> too big for his britches, but he uh, his heart was in the right place. He, however, was not as PC is going to collect CGC's top lane. The heart might be in the right place, but the money sure is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, and Peppa. Fine, bot -a bot. Chris is having oh. coming down. That demonic is doing a ton of damage with Sunfire. Sunfire taking about 43 each. Cage comes down. They're looking for Jizo. Kick takes him over the wall as Death Sniper is now stuck on his own. Sniper's going to go for Chaos instead. Dizzy's looking for Jizo, looking for the Sonic Wave. Cage is there. Jizo needs to run. Oh, flash comes flash. out. Jizo's oh, like, he knows. My bad. <laughs> he knows. Yeah, it's unfortunate. You're just circled. Not much you can really do there. Mm -hmm. You know. Back on the push. Aurelia's looking. Almost has her R. He connects. He is in there. Zyra R comes down, knocks up three. Oh, Dizzy's looking a little cocky. He's going to die to the tower. I mean, in this case, you could definitely still do Baron here. I mean, this match is looking a little, a little uh, further away than it was early, especially with their little shenanigans that they were having uh, you can't early discount, on. You can't discount uh, her uh, Phoenix College though. Having this Yasuo, having this Zyra, having this Vyguard. Just three extremely like scale heavy champions. Yes, they have Nyla, yes, they have Gangplank. But I mean Vyguard will simply just delete champions given the length of the game. Oh yeah. Um Yasuo getting his IE. Uh, while it is a little bit delayed right now, if he can make it to that power spike, he 
with his performance so far, I'm interested to see if it even gets to that point because if it does, I think CGC will start to get a little bit worried. You know, um, Cage and finds the Aurelia, oh. Sun goes out, Root goes out, Everfrost goes out, R goes and out, Aurelia R goes out. And she's making more stats for the Vigar. You know, it's going to start going to the point where that's now CGC is going to... Yeah, that's something. Hugh goes wild. Oh, it all and comes out for that too. Peppa oh, oh and he God. got shot <laughs> by the being bop, you know. Definitely got bopped. Bop. He definitely got bopped. But, you know, it's to the fact where uh, uh, CGC uh, soon has to be worried about the Vagar, considering now the Vagar has 237 stacks, and you know how Vagar is when he gets, like, let's say, uh, 40 minutes. Like, <laughs> at that point, the game's going to be starting to shift to where now P a PC is going to have to look to appeal for the Vagar, as Vagar can start looking to one-shot people. But... Uh, Jesus, I was actually looking here. Oh, the Everfrost is gonna come out. It's not gonna come to anything. Jesus oh, doesn't really have cooldowns. Kick comes out on White yet. He's in the middle of everything. Okay. Um, Elmo finds the R on to Dizzy. Last breath comes out. The sniper finds it. Oh, uh, Jesus is still. For two. He's just still being chased here. Nowhere. Oh, there's Chaos City. Still Tempest stops the uh, Blade Surge. Bobby Bob can't quite finish off Peppa. He's just still looking. <laughs> He's always still so stuck. They trade one for one. Oh, man. That that was honestly, like, uh, that was unfortunate on Jizo's side. He, uh, he was trying to come back to help, but the game plank was still on him. And at the end of the day, it was a one for one. And, um, you know, Jizo is not being able to help him there. But now they're on their uh, Nexus Towers. and But they're going to look to get the bottom and hip instead. Chaos okay, and Peppa pushing this bottom hip. A uh, ton of minions in the mid, in the top, in the bot. There is just so much gold coming towards the side of Phoenix College. And they're on the back foot right now. Down by about 15,000 gold. Baron about to time out for CGC. But they just have such play. a stranglehold over uh, Phoenix College and their resources taking bottom. Oh, bottom. Shaco's trying to get Bingo. anything here. Throws a two shiv like, hey, you know, that's rude. I want my stuff. He's going to go with the trade. Don't really know if I agree with this decision making to try to take their jungle camps when you're down two inhibitors. Just you make yourself and your team so vulnerable. As Keppa and the rest of the team is spotted out. So oh, Dizzy landing. Gizo. Sonic Wave catches, kick Ooh, over the wall, over finds the wall. two. Oh, oh. Gizo gets caught Dizzy by gets... once again. And Elmo is just stuck in the wrong neighborhood. Wifey goes down over to the feeder. <laughs> so we're going to see a three man push with Katana in the top end. Dizzy was like, no, man, where you think you're going? Onto the Gizo. Oh. Even a kick over the wall, he still got him with the Q. And it looks like Sniper's trying to look to do something here, but... Oh, Ooh. a floor. Last breath, Ooh, the yes. have the damage to finish it. No, that was a good last breath. That was a good final stand. He will take one with him. But at the end of the day, it looks like CGC is going to end with the series win over PC. Absolutely. Five man pushing in. And you know, this was, a, this was a good effort on the uh, PC side here on um, game Absolutely. two. Absolutely. The sniper played out of his mind. Jizo played out of his mind. Uh, I I wish we had seen a bit more of early aggression from Bada Bing Bop, but with all of the proxying going down in bot lane, he definitely did what he could. Yeah. But great just, effort uh, from both teams. A lot of shenanigans on uh, CGC side, and you know they had to deal. They had to be the police and straighten them up. But it looks like uh, that that strategy <laughs> it turned out on CGC's favor here. So they're gonna Absolutely. end up with the series win. And right now in the standings, it looks like CGC is going to secure first place in the standings at the moment, from what it looks like. Absolutely, good effort from both teams. Congratulations, Chandler Gilbert, for their uh, very dominant victory over Phoenix College in the last two games. 
Um, Sky J, do you have any closing thoughts for these two games? Um, well, it is. Uh, it was an interesting uh, series, uh, especially on the uh, Lee Sin and Nyla. Now that I gotta think about it, probably should play Nyla support now <laughs> <laughs> and get my get a get a duo who play Lee Sin. But uh, it was a it was a good match. Uh, props to PC and CGC. Both played great. Um, and PC especially for game two, where you know adapting into what uh, CGC is doing, I think they adapted pretty well into the early game here. Absolutely. So, you know, um, I agree. But uh, with that, congrats to CGC. Um, I'm Alice. That's Sky J. Uh, we're probably done here, but make sure you guys check in tomorrow because I believe Overwatch is playing. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's Mesa against Chandler Gilbert. All um, D1 so teams. <laughs> All right.